Hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial and today we will make this awesome circuit called Dark Detector using triple five timer and an LDR. So the objective of the circuit is that whenever the intensity of light falling on the circuit is below a certain level, the buzzer connected to the output of the circuit will produce sound. And whenever the intensity of light that falls on the circuit is above that level, the buzzer will stop producing sound. So first of all, we will simulate the circuit on Porteous and after that, we will bend the circuit in breadboard. So without any ado, let's get started. These are the components on the left. Let's select triple five first. Now, battery uh, change its voltage to nine volt. Okay. Now, select LDR. Uh, let me place it first mm -hmm. here. Okay. Now, connect this resistor to LDR and to ground. Change its value to. Okay. Now. Change its value to 4.7k. Okay. Now connect trigger terminal or the second terminal here in between LDR and resistor. Let me just okay. Let me just place it here. Okay. Now it looks nice. So now select capacitor and connect it to control pin and ground. Okay, and change the value to 0.1 microfarad. Done. Now connect four terminal to the positive of battery. Now select another resistor. Connect capacitor in uh, series with the resistor. Change its value to 100 microfarad. Now change this resistor value to 47k. Connect it to positive supply over 8th pin. Now connect 7th pin to in between between this capacitor and resistor. Okay, now connect 6th pin also. Now for output, connect your buzzer here from the Okay, just place it here from your third pin to the ground. So, this is the overall circuit. Let's uh, say right now light is falling on the LDR. So, uh, okay, let's click play. Right now, there is no noise coming. Buzzer is off as you can see. There is a blue mark here. So, this is how right now it's working. Uh, since uh, light is falling on the LDR, that means it is, its resistance is minimum. So, all the voltage is across this 4.7k. That means second uh, voltage at second pin is greater than 1 by 3 of 9 volt. So, which uh, sets the flip flop inside this uh, your triple 5. That means uh, which gives zero output. Okay, now let's decrease the intensity and see what happens. Okay, more. Uh, so, right now. Uh, you can uh, see here is red dot that means there is positive that means uh, some voltage is there and you can also hear the sound at the background so this is what happening right now resistance of the LDR increases that means the drop across this 4.7k resistor decreases so uh, voltage in, in the second pin is less than 1 by 3 of 9 volt which uh, resets the flip flop inside this triple five and that's why we uh, it gives one as output and our buzzer is on here i present you dark detector using triple five timer notice this one and my pin number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. First one is ground, then your trigger, then output, then uh, reset, then control, then threshold, then uh, discharge, and at last, this is VCC. Plus positive of battery is this one, and negative of battery is here. Now, 
now first of all this 47 k register is connected between discharge that is 7 pin and positive supply this 8 pin is directly connected to positive supply as it is a vcc pin after that your 7 pin and 6 pin are shorted together and from the 6 pin 10 microfarad capacitor is directly connected to ground this is ground and 0.1 microfarad capacitor from the fifth or control pin connected to ground in this side first pin that is ground pin is directly connected to ground second pin goes to this resistor 4.7k resistor and then to ground that means from ground then resistor and then to trigger pin whereas an LDR is connected between this and positive of supply so LDR is basically connected from your first pin to your trigger pin you can say that now output for output your buzzer is connected between your third first second third output pin and directly ground this here from here ground this here is all ground now positive of your buzzer is connected to positive that means third pin which is output pin so that's all